first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is to make some hot chocolate for my son. <laughs> um, he doesn't like to eat his breakfast immediately when he wakes up, but since it's a bit cold, I like uh, to give him something warm to drink. And he's not a fan of plain milk nowadays, so let me just make for him some hot chocolate. He's still asleep and it's 9.30. I'm actually going to wake him up actually <laughs> at this rate. <coughs> For his bread, um, I've removed the crust. I'll give the cuts to take. I'm just waiting for this to cool off. I'm debating whether to do blue panda and jam or skippy and jam. <laughs> Because I tried Skippy and Blue Band, he didn't like it because it got stuck on his upper upper part of the mouth. So I think I'm whispering because he's asleep. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to do Skippy and Jam today. Let me see how he takes it. So this is what he'll eat for now till around 11. Then he'll take his porridge or cereals. Eat, eat, Baba. So for breakfast, I'm having bacon, salmon, and tea. Uh, it's been a while since I had bacon. I was just craving it, and I remembered I had some in the freezer and had forgotten just how fatty bacon is <laughs> honestly you see in a few just how much oil uh how much fat came just out of it and uh, <laughs> i think this is why i've not had bacon in a while but yeah So breakfast done, it's time to clean the house and I'm starting with the living room, then the dining, then the kitchen. I had already done the dishes, so I'll just be doing the floors there. Uh, sorry guys for abusing this hoodie. Like I said, I love it. It's very warm and just comfy for the cold season. Uh, by the time I was doing this vlog, my nanny hadn't come back yet, so that's why I'm the one who's doing all this cleaning here still. So in the living room, I'm just um, arranging the couch, um, opening up the curtains. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do to make this couch stop going to the wall because <laughs> it's making it difficult to open the curtains, but I'll figure it out. So I'm just um, folding all the blankets. I ended up removing all the throw pillow covers to wash. They had a lot of food stain uh, on them. My son loves to eat here, but of late he's adapted to eating in the, on, in the dining table. Uh, so at least we were going to get um, freedom from all the food stains on the carpet and on the couch uh, but he prefers he, he usually used to prefer eating uh, in the living room while watching TV so I stopped that because um, and eating when it's time to eat there's no TV or screens around so he's actually adapted to that really well and he has no issue eating without uh, TV so yeah once I removed the covers, I just uh, vacuumed, wiped down the surfaces, vacuumed the carpets and mopped.
so over to the laundry area i'm just putting the covers to wash i removed the black and the yellow one because they usually stain all these other covers those ones will be washed individually so i also added some downy just for the lovely scent um in the sweet elegance uh, scent and i added a pre-wash setting to the covers just to make sure all the stains are, are get out from them I'm using the Astonish Antibacterial Surface Spray to just uh, clean all my countertops for the TV. I'm using Surgical Spirit with a paper towel just to clean out all the stains. It had a lot of handprints and we know whose handprints <laughs> were on the TV. So I'm just using a bit of that to wipe all the stains on it. So I got this really cool mop that I love. It's a Villeda Turbo Spin Mop. You can find it at Kafo or Chandarana. Um, I love this mop because it makes cleaning so effortless because of the foot pedal that it comes with. You don't need to touch the mop. You don't need to touch uh, the water that you're using to mop the house with. It's very hygienical and it cleans really, really well. The mop comes in this like, a triangular shape that makes it so easy to get to all the corners of the house and the mop is uh, microfiber it's made of microfiber i've talked about the features of this mop in detail on my ig reels you can go look it up if you're interested i just love it honestly it makes cleaning so effortless honestly um today i'm using hot water and soap whenever i use hot water i never add uh, bleach to my uh, hot water to my water if i'm using cold water is when i'll add some bleach but if i'm not i'll just add some um soap and you're good to go
Uh, my kitchen is actually really clean. I cleaned this very early in the morning. As you can see, I did the dishes, cleaned the cooker. Also, um, cleaned this side. <laughs> uh, the microwave and the fridge. Actually, my neighbor cleaned the fridge yesterday uh, inside. So today, I just wiped it with vinegar. And yeah, that's it. And now I've done the floors. So back to the laundry area, I want to wash my son's crocs. Honestly, he uses all his crocs during the day he has uh, currently he has like three pairs um so these are the ones he used just in the morning <laughs> so i need to wash them because i know once he wakes up he'll be back outside to play and i want him to have like clean crocs and then in the evening i'll still be back here to wash them <laughs> uh, ready for tomorrow he's always outside just playing um so that's why his crocs are always that dirty but yeah so i'm just washing them with a microfiber cloth and some towel and some soap sorry i realized i don't have a shoe brush i actually have it but it's worn out completely so that's why i'm using a microfiber cloth and i'll just let them dry on top of the machine that's why i put a towel there I have two packages here. Um, one is from Skin Fuel, the other one is from Dazzle Fine Jewelry. Um, this, uh, the Dazzle Fine Jewelry one, it's the same person who gifted me this watch. And I've never actually worn it because I've never reduced the straps. Cause, um, so now I've actually told my hubby he needs to reduce all these straps for all these watches. Because now I have uh, watches here that I'm not even wearing because they've not been reduced. So she gifted me two, two um, watches. So this is how they come packaged. So the first one uh, that I chose, she actually sent me like 10 watches to choose from and uh, my son was really crying, I, I, I thought I'd like vlog and show you guys all the variety that she has but uh, my son was crying too much, I just selected the ones that I wanted and but you can go to her page and you see uh, the variety of watches but you can go to her page and you can see the variety of watches that she has so I've always wanted a black and gold watch and once i saw this this was the first one that i picked because i've really really wanted one it looks really really good on my skin so i got um this one i think this one this one all these watches will have to be reduced today before i go back to work sorry my machine is running in the background then the other one that i got was this one i think this one is a bit flashy for me but it looks really cute i think i've loaded it uh, wrongly so once you load it we buy it spins and even anyway um let me just close this door to be too loud in the background so yeah uh this is the second one that i got i think it's a bit flashy uh, compared to the watches that, compared to the other watches that I'm used to but it looks really good it looks nice it, it's it's um this one actually fits this one fits wait let me see so I need to adjust two of them let me remove this car there's like a plastic here Mm -hmm. let me see if it fits and also need to go like buy batteries no it doesn't fit it doesn't fit it just needs like a tiny adjustment for it to fit visually so i'll have my hubby do that for me today hopefully and then the second package that i got is from Skin Fuel. Actually, this was a gift for mentioning her in my 
previous previous vlog the one for how to smell good all day so she sent me a gift for just randomly mentioning her uh, but i usually tell you guys if you have nice stuff me i don't mind mentioning um I'm, I'm not always mean with clothes as long as you're genuine and you have nice quality things i'm in so she sent me the dove um the one with zero percent aluminium she sent me a different scent to try it out so this one is a pomegranate and lemon scent that machine i need to cause it and load it vizuri i may load vibaya it smells really nice and she told me i need to send you a different scent of dove um so that you can try it out oh it smells so nice ah, thank you so much and she also sent me a shower gel so this is a scent ives rose water and uh, aloe vera i think i've ever used this shower gel before oh, it smells nice I've actually i think i've ever used this specific uh shower gel before so yeah those are the two gifts she sent me she also sent me something for my son so this is a get ready flash cards two pack one has alphabets the other one has numbers i don't want to open it right now I'll, oh, let me just open it just open oh oh they're coming from <laughs> so one has um alphabets like this and this one has numbers actually we are to this stage my son can only now count one to ten but he doesn't know a b c d so i think we'll start with the letters one because that one has refused he he's counting more than he's doing the a b c d's anyway um she also got me an other oh comes with candy sweets here like people who package things with a bit of candy she also got me pens gel pens this is someone who knows me honestly this is someone who knows me so these are pink gel pens and violet gel pens oh this is so nice and i'm going back to work any my liver has ended like that so this is um oh, this is so nice so nice i'm going to be putting i put this in my desk and then she also got me big uh, highlighters oh more highlighters um she got me big highlighters a pack it has uh orange pink blue green and yellow this is someone who knows me they know i like stationaries a lot they know i like cute stationaries i'm a sucker for cute stationaries honestly i can never have enough so there's a note here that i'm opening So your support of my small business mean the, means the world to me. I hope this package brightens your day. Thank you. Oh, she's so nice. I had it. I don't think I have any other package to show you guys. So it's time to make a dinner and I'm just making a uh, beef stew with minji carrot and potatoes and some coconut rice i like uh, cooking this combination because we can all eat it including my son there's some meals you can make and you have to make a separate meal for my son so i usually prefer cooking this because i know he loves it especially if i cut like a half avocado inside uh, he will eat it completely so i'm just going to add some broth also to the stew this was the last of my broth guys <laughs> i really need to go make uh, more broth because uh, food is just sweeter with broth broth honestly and i don't mean like supermarket broth okay i've never tried it uh, but just trying making your own broth just makes a whole difference to your meals so yeah i added a bit of uh the whole can of coconut um what is coconut milk the can taste coconut milk to this and one cup of water and yeah uh, i was done with cooking dinner
Hey guys, I know I'm in the dark, I'm in the, I'm in the basement of Two Rivers. Uh, it's Friday, I've just gotten um, back from work. And believe it or not, I'm here to look for a black blazer because tomorrow I have to go to work on a Saturday. I am so pissed off, I'm so, I'm just overwhelmed with this whole story, but uh, yeah, for the next, um, tomorrow we are required to go to work 8 to 1, and uh, let me just stop there, because what? <laughs> story so let me just go up and look for a black blazer believe it or not i do not have a black blazer so either get a black blazer or a black dress because the dress code is official black so let me go see what i can find So um, I got a dress, a black one from Vivo. At least I, I've left the grey one that I had that I, that I showed you guys. I got a black one after. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks tomorrow. It's really nice, but Vivo is a bit expensive. Oh, anyway, uh, it's good quality. That's the other thing. It's actually good quality fabric, and it's not see-through. So I'm still at the parking lot because I'm waiting for my hubby and my son uh, so that we can go shopping at uh, Kafo. There's some things for the house Hatuna and I just uh, requested if we can pick him up at least to Mtoy Kwanyomba Yuko. You see, as in, I don't like him just staying in the house Monday to Sunday. Um, okay he goes for his daily walks yes around the estate but i usually prefer he like leaves leaves and goes for errands with us so uh, i'm waiting for them to come we go uh, as i read i'm reading uh you and me on vacation uh, i was to start this one today during my lunch break but i didn't get the time to do it so let me start on it right now and then yeah catch up with you guys later I also had to stop by MRP to pick some sandals because the shoes I have on where is in a new miza. I think I have like uh, blisters on my feet so since we are going for some errands I had to pick some sandals and I've always been looking for these sandals uh, but now finally I found them they're going for a thousand bucks so yeah let me just wear this and leave Drowning in my So I want to have some supper. I'm having gali cabbage nyama. Actually, you should see if there's any avocado in the river. Ah, nice. There's one that has evered. Yeah, let me wash it and cut it. And I'm also making some tea yeah, to take after I eat. I haven't added tea masala. Aki sunimbe tea masala imeisha. I want to add some tea masala. Good to go. So I just got a delivery of cereals. This is yellow beans, kamande and cream crumbs, kamande is lentils and rice from a shop called Rose Cereals of the cereals. Uh, I will link the page and the number in the description box but I know her personally and I can guarantee we ate uh, the lentils for dinner this particular day and it was really really yummy. Her cereals are really good quality, um, even the rice so I will link her number in the description box i also love the cute packaging uh, that they came with so i just ordered uh, the rice is 5 kgs the 
their cereals each came in two kgs um so i just cooked like half like one kg of the kamande because my freezer right now is so full um i need to create some space then i can uh boil all of them but today we just had the lentils the kamande and they were really really sweet So I'm in the kitchen and I want to make some butternut uh, soup. You remember the last time I wanted to make it, I got sick and my nanny ended up making it. So I didn't share, I didn't really share the recipe with you guys. So today I just wanted to do that because I was craving some butternut uh, soup. I love butternut soup. Honestly, every time we go to a restaurant and if the starter is not butternut soup, I'm not having it <laughs> okay except from Ankole anyway I never knew how hard it is to peel butternut at some point I had to call my hubby to just come and peel the other piece it was uh, honestly this was a struggle <laughs> for me <laughs> I used the pillar I used the knife I went back to the pillar and uh, I just called my hubby to um, finish peeling it for me So the recipe basically for how I make my butternut soup is I used one nutmeg, one uh, normal size nutmeg <laughs> and I just cut it in pieces so that it can cook evenly. Then I also used two white onions and six cloves of garlic. Then I added um, nutmeg, cinnamon, black pepper and salt. For the nutmeg and the cinnamon you can add one teaspoon but normally I usually just I boil when it comes to spices they normally I boil I boil them so the only thing that I was missing was broth and I felt really really bad I thought I still had one container of broth in my freezer but I, apparently I didn't have so I'm out of broth and I know it would have tasted way better with broth than just plain water because I ended up just adding plain water and I know it would have tasted way better but it still came out tasting really 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 nice so if you don't have broth don't stress it will still come out tasting okay and then um you just let it i'll show you guys i'll just show you guys the, how i cook it as we go So um, I added some oil in my sulfuria and um, my pot <laughs> and um, just let it heat then I added the onions uh, you cook the onions till they caramelize or they turn brown um, and then you add some garlic uh, on the onions once they are about to cook then i added now my spices that is the nutmeg and the cinnamon and um, then i added the butternut then later after i've added the butternut is when i added the black pepper on top and the salt on top 
then lastly you add either your broth or water and you just let the butternut simmer in low heat and just cook really really well once it's like mushy mushy it's like mashed a lot uh it's when now uh, you know it's cooked you can remove it and blend and serve so you'll see me doing that uh throughout So as the butternut is cooking, I'm back in the uh, sink area to just um, clear out the dishes. My nanny had started cleaning the dishes. As you can see, there are a few dishes in the dish rack. So I had to chase her out of the kitchen so that I can cook my soup as I vlog. So anyway, now I'm finishing up the dishes um, that were left. And I cleaned the counters. I cleaned the fridge, the outside part of the fridge. It had some smudges and also the microwave. Um, and then I just cleaned the rest of the countertops and I was done.
To clean my fridge and my microwave, I'm using my vinegar mix, which is quarter vinegar, three quarter water in the spray bottle. You can add, eh, you can add essential oils if you like, but I don't mind the scent of vinegar. So normally I don't add anything to mine, and I'm just using a microfiber cloth to just clean um, the surfaces. As you can see my butternut is well cooked and I'm telling you it was smelling really really amazing I almost dropped the pot as you can see <laughs> so I'm just going to let it cool for a bit not much just a bit then I'll blend it also if you are a fan of like parsley and dania you can chop up a bit of that and add on top of the soup personally I'm not a fan of either uh, so I'm not going to add that I'm just going to have mine clean normally I usually have it with like some samoon or some uh, garlic bread but um, I was just feeling like having it plain today so that's what I did so i have a small dome in my bed uh, my hubby and my son were sleeping there like um, an hour ago they woke up like an hour ago so i don't think i'm even going to bother making it because it's already three in the evening so it will stay like that i have my 
soup here that I'm having because it's soup even at this rate. Um, so I received this lovely uncover package and I'm going to insert a video here of how the package came looking like. That was I think last week and um, they've launched this new product. It's an um, uncover dark spot serum. So this is how it looks. So personally, I do not have any dark spots <laughs> on my face or anything. So this one, I think I'm going to give it away. Um, oh, I have a cousin. Actually, I have a cousin on my hubby's side who would actually really, really use it. Sorry, I'm not going to give it away here. I've realized there's someone actually um, who I can give it to directly. So I'm and we're actually going to see them tomorrow so i'll be taking this to her so it's and then she'll tell me how it is because it fades and exfoliates uh the skins it has a butane tranexamic acid -ness. hey i'm not even going to try and pronounce the ingredients here um for it but yeah this is a new product that i've come with and then they use and cover products and i'm so sure it's really really amazing um i need to oil my hands because so um i just wanted to show you guys that in case you have uh, dark spots and you are uh, a fan of uncover products try that out the package also came with affirmation cards i thought these were really really cute i'll insert a video of how the package came uh somewhere here um it was dark so the video might be dark i think i was taking it in the evening so you'll see that uh, how it looks i just want to see what one card sees oh I love the skin in me. Oh, this is cute. So it has like how many affirmation cards? These ones are okay. There's no number, but I love this. And then there's another one that says, "I love my skin and treat it with kindness." Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, these affirmation cards are really sweet. It's it, it could make a really cute gift. I'm I'm running a drum clean on my machine. And I don't think we have uh, enough water pressure today, so that's why it's doing that. Um, and then it also came with a t-shirt that says, glow in your confidence. Cute black t-shirt. Oh, this is nice. Um, so that's what the package came with. Uh, but you can see how the package was delivered a bit differently. So, I want to unbox... package that I got from the Maid's German cosmetic shop. This is where I get my Balea products. I get that question asked a lot, a lot, a lot. I will link them in the description box down below for you guys. They're called the Maid's German cosmetic shop. And that's where I got, I get all my uh, Balea shampoos. So, this time... Of course, there's chocolate, chocolate meat. I love these chocolates very much. And I think I've recruited my son into the mix because he loves them. And then he likes the kameen, he usually washes his mouth. So he's like, Ugh. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Mm. So, I don't even want to imagine how sweet it would have been with broth. Anyway. The first product, um, Balea Men. The Balea Men, do they usually? Oh, they usually have a scent. So this one I'm seeing is like grapefruit, grapefruit and masks, masks something. Oh, it's sealed. I can't get a scent of that. And then there is fruity breeze. So this one is uh, mango and something. Isana shower gel. So there's that one. And then there's Balea buttermilk and lemon as usual. And then. The last package has the Balea deodorant, the one I was telling you guys in my last last video. Uh, it doesn't have any aluminium in it. And then there is the Balea hand cream. Oh, 
my best friend loves this hand cream and now she's out of the country for like the next one year so i don't even know how i'm going to get her these things because she oh, even actually where she is the products she she can get them where she is so probably this one i may give my sisters she loves 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 this particular hand cream and then there is the cream lotion let me get a scent of this one um this is other one that she sent there's this particular one that she sent this lotion smells amazing this one it has that kind of lovely arabian Oh, sweet scent in it I, I love this honestly if you are into like arabian perfumes this is a perfect lotion for you so this one has it smells nice Ooh, this one smells nice my battery is about to die so let me just i don't even know how to describe it Honestly, I usually don't know how to describe scents, but this one smells nice. <laughs> it actually smells nice. So that's all I got from Balea. I just wanted to do that cash out haul for you guys. And I think, yeah, this is it for this video. I don't know. I think this video is going to be short, but I just want to um, take my soup, edit this vlog, and sleep. I think today I'm just going to go to bed at around 8 p.m. And I know my nails look bad. I've already booked an appointment with Lux. Um, I'm also going to book an appoint a hair appointment soon and a waxing appointment. I need to do like a whole glam day or a glam session because where well, the last two weeks have been a bit hectic for me. So I'm just going to do that. Edit this vlog by 6 p.m. I should be long not even 6. It's 3. Yeah, actually 6. I'm just giving myself a grace period. So by 6 p.m. I should be out. I should be showering, relaxing, and just watching TV or reading or grabbing a book to read uh, for the entire night till I sleep. So yeah, this is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next vlog.